Well, <clears throat> how do you multiply divide sine to the notation? <clears throat> well, let's say we had something like uh, 5.2 times 10 to the third power uh, times 3.1 times 10 to the negative four power. And if I'm asked to multiply those, let's not worry about the uh, base 10 exponents for now. Let's just multiply the 5.2 times 3.1. And what I'm going to get is Five point two times three point one sixteen point one two. However, I need to remember my rules of significant figures. Since there's two here and there's two here, and I'm multiplying them, I can only write two significant figures in my answer. So the sixteen point one two, I'm just gonna leave a sixteen. And now I'm going to remember my rule for multiplying scientific notation. I'm just going to add the exponents. Right. Uh, at least this is, um, <clears throat> actually I should specify this is for multiplying only. So for multiplying scientific notation, I'm going to add the exponents. What's 3 plus negative 4? Well, 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1. Okay. And if I want, I can write this uh, another way as 1.6. Right. If I want to write the number out, I can find the decimal. I'll rewrite this over here. And... Uh, times 10 to the negative 1 implies that I move the decimal place to the left. The, the, the goal here should be just to write it the simplest way possible. In this case, since I had a 16 times 10 to the negative 1, or 1 1.6 times 10 to the 0, that's just going to be 1.6. Alright. Now, what if I want to divide? Well, for uh, multiplying, if I add the exponents, what am I going to do when I divide scientific notation? I'm just going to subtract the exponents. So, <clears throat> if I had a uh, 4.03 times 10 to the minus 2, and I divide that by uh, 1.7 times 10 to the negative... Um, I don't know, negative 8. Let's not worry about the base 10 and the exponents for now. Uh, 4.03 divided by 1.7. I know that my answer is going to have to have two significant figures because of the rule of dividing significant figures. If I divide 4.03 divided by 1.7, I get 2.370588, and I'm going to round that to 2.4. Now, if I subtract the exponents, what's negative 2 minus negative 8? And if you forget how to subtract integers, that's okay. What you can think of is, uh, well, there's one rule just to add the opposite, but you could also say, well, if I'm down 2 and I take away the fact that I owe 8, that means I'm actually up 6, right? So negative 2 plus 8. It's going to equal positive 6. So that's the final answer, 2.4 times 10 to the 6th power. So <clears throat> that's multiplying, dividing, uh, scientific notation. What about adding and subtracting? Well, adding and subtracting is going to be a little bit different. For example, um, if I want to add let's say uh, 1.004 to 
times 10 to the second power to 3.2 times 10 to the negative 1 power. There's a couple different ways to do this. You can get these base tens to be equal. An easier way would just be to write these out and then just add um, the decimals according to your significant figures rule. So 1.04 times 10 to the 2. Well, that's easy. You just It just equals 100.4, right? And then 3.2 times 10 to the minus 1. Well, it's a small number. Remember, I have to move the decimal to the left. That's a negative exponent uh, on the base 10, so that's going to be 0 0.32. Going to add these guys up. 100.4 plus 0.32 equals 100.72. But now, remember our rule for significant figures. Uh, when we add, we can only go so far as um, the tenths place here. This 0.32 goes to the hundreds place, but the rule states that we're limited by the furthest uh, decimal or place of um, actually the, the lower... It's kind of tough to explain. It, 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 which, how, however far in places either one of these numbers goes, you have to go to the one that has the fewer places. That, that's your bottleneck. So in other words, if this one goes to the hundredths place and this one goes to the tenths place, when you add them, you can only go to the tenths place. You've got to cross out the two. So your answer is 100.7. And subtracting scientific notation, it's it's pretty much the same thing. For example, if you had a, let's try another one, I don't know, 3.71 times 10 to the minus 3, and you subtract um, 4.9 times 10 to the fourth, what are you going to get? Well, <clears throat> again, the easiest uh, way to do this is probably just to write these numbers out. 3.71 times 10 to the minus 3, it's a, it's a small number, so this implies that uh, we're going to have to move this decimal place to the left. 1, 2, 3, move the decimal to the left rather to get 0 0.00371. And uh, 4.9 times 10 to the fourth, it's a positive integer on the exponent, so we have to move this guy here to the right to make the number large. Uh, it's going to be four places one, two, three, four. Boom, boom, boom. So that's what is that, 49,000? <coughs> And if we subtract these, let's see what we get. Use our calculator point zero zero three seven one minus forty nine thousand, and I'm going to get a negative number negative forty eight thousand. 999.996. <clears throat> now, remember that um, in terms of how far along I go in each uh, place of these numbers, this guy up here, I moved uh, the decimal three places, actually four places to get 49,000. So my, my, my limiting... Um, Factor here is the ones place. Okay. For this number here, the ones place is over here, but it goes up to the uh, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands place, hundred thousands place. But I, I can't write my answer um, 
with that many decimal places, I can only go up to the one, to the ones place, because that's as far as this guy goes here. So in other words, my final answer is going to be forty nine thousand. Why? Because well, I, I rounded this. Yeah, it's important that I include this decimal here. Um, that implies a calculation and that we have some five significant figures. And uh, that's why this decimal is important here too. <clears throat> so that's how to write scientific notation. Multiplying and dividing scientific notation. And uh, adding subtracting scientific notation. Remember these rules, one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll get stuck.